So in this video we will be doing a speed comparison with 11 different robots and all of them are carrying the maximum number of accelerator module and speed skill from pilots they can have. Um, so Roadhog and Adamant Roadhog both skill are common in all robots. Just a few of them like the Mander and Rogatka have a additional speed skill. So starting with the first robot which is the Loki and uh, to make the Adamant skill work what i have done i have captured three beacons from my other account on the test server so you can see on the left that symbol indicates that the skill is active and i have chosen the broken ramp area as the starting point and this yellow line is the end point so we just completed the test with the loki and it only took 15.85 seconds to complete the whole distance and now starting with the Aujun, so this time I will start from the yellow line and I will end at the broken ramp area. And as you can see the, the flight speed st uh, still feels so normal and I think that's because the, the you know additional speed is only for walking. Uh, it, it doesn't increase the jump speed, dash speed or flying. All of them stays normal, only the walking speed increases. Also, I remember Manny said in his early news video that uh, he also also mentioned it will not work on dashes. So I assume it will also not work on the flying and uh, you know flying and jump. So the Aujun took 24.59 seconds, and I have carefully checked frame by frame to calculate the time, so you don't have to you know worry about the accuracy. And uh, here is the third test with the Hellburner and unfortunately it only has two passive slots so it cannot get as much advantage as the Loki. So the Hellburner took 24.35 seconds, it's almost similar to the Aujun. Uh, and now going to the fourth robot which is the Strider. So this robot, it can, it might beat the time of the Loki. Because I saw a video a while ago, it was uploaded by another channel, I cannot remember the name. But uh, in that, he did comparison of Strider and Loki and the Strider actually won. Uh, but that was without any modules or pilots, the pilots were not released at that time. Uh, so we are about to complete it. And the Strider took 21.72 seconds, so it's 5 seconds more than the Loki. Uh, so yeah. Now it's clear that the additional speed is not for dashes, uh, flying or jump ability. It, it only increases the walking speed uh, and that's the reason that now Loki is a winner over the Strider. So here is our fifth robot, the Pursuer. So this, this one, uh, this robot will take the maximum benefit of all because even in the rush ability it uses the lag and it, it, will, it, it will be counted as the walking speed, right? Uh, so we are about to complete the uh, track and the time it took is 23.83 seconds which is uh, actually better than the Arjun. And now with the Mander, so if you are thinking why this is in this test uh, video, uh, that's because when you activate your, when you activate the healing it also gains 66% or something like that yeah, it, it just I'm not sure about the actual number but it increases it gets some additional speed so I wanted to check if with the module and all how much it can how well it can perform uh, so the mandate took 27.96 seconds which is the highest so far so the seventh robot is Kumiho which has uh, 60 km per hour of speed in normal so with the module and all it will get increased a lot uh, and with the, the dashes also reloads faster I mean the cooldown is shorter than the strider so let's see if it can uh, beat the time of the strider. So 24.05 uh, which is, well the Strider is still faster than the Kumiho but this time is not bad. Uh, especially, well it's better than the Mander. And now with the Blitz also the same reason I'm, I'm adding this because when you use the 
use the suppression no not the suppression i think it's called break in right so when you use that break in ability it gains some speed so i wanted to check again how much how much it can increase with everything so the blitz took 29.8 seconds which is even more than the mander so the next three robots that we will test is Hover, Invader and Rogatka which I don't think a lot of viewers might be interested uh, but still I wanted to complete the test uh, I wanted to try as much as I can so I added these three robots uh, I also wanted to add the Raven but uh, it's not available in the current test server so I couldn't do that Uh, and about this hover, just like the Aujun, it's not getting any uh, additional speed for the flight. The only the walking speed has increased. So the time it took is 28.35. So the second last robot is the Rogatka and uh, it don't have any passive module slot so it's not carrying any accelerator module. Uh, but it has an additional pilot skill other than the Roadhog and Adamant Roadhog and it's called Coast, Coast Skill which increases 50% speed of the robot but it will not allow you to use the ability as you can see on the jump icon it's, it's showing the cross symbol uh, so I actually saw this one from Adrian's stream and I thought maybe some people who saw that might be interested in watching if this can uh, beat the time of any of the robots but no the answer is no uh, the time it took is 31 seconds which is a lot and now finally with the invader which don't have to be in this video but I just thought the horizontal distance of the jump is uh, is really good so maybe with the with the walking speed and the jump I just had this uh, idea maybe it can do something but again uh, nothing good it also took almost 31 seconds or something so yeah 31.9 seconds so I guess that's it that was the test and the comparison so I hope you enjoyed the video or maybe if you found it informative so if you did please don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and I guess I will see you in my next video.